Hi hey everybody, this is Backup Plan. Backup Plan, and I just want to do a June setup flip through of my planner, um, and just kind of go over what has changed in the last. Um, I my son's napping right now, so I have some time to do this, and I just decided to take the opportunity to just show you kind of what's happening. Um. So I changed my front cover again. I made this out of literally glitter black cardstock or scrap of paper and I laminated it and then cut out my name. Um and then one of my freebies. Um this is one of those cutting boards from Dollar Tree and I made it I wanted it to be stiffer. When I wrote on this side, it wasn't as floppy. Um, my first section is notes, and I was trying to work on it using a different pen for cursive. So I was doing some cursive letters. Um, this is my uh, contact reference section, so anytime I call anyone or talk to anyone on the phone, I add that in there. Um, an acetate from Peanuts Planner Co., a grocery guide from that I made, our service log from Peanuts Planner Co., um, one of my freebies printed on acetate, um, and then my project section. This is one of my, I have this in a dashboard form as a freebie in my freebie, but I originally, this is the original post-it note. Um, this is my project section. So anything that takes, I follow the GTD system with projects. So anything that takes more than two steps to complete is a project to me. So anything, I oftentimes, smaller projects that are like one or two steps will stay in my agenda section. But anything that's larger than that like a birthday like my son's birthday is coming up so his fifth birthday um what we're getting in what the grandparents are getting in what we're doing on the day of parties and stuff like that um we'll go in this section so like organizing my son's bedroom father's day stuff like that packing the swim bag um, i'm gonna try to diy a, a weighted vest for him because he really liked the one at school um, but he needs specific things and the ones that they sell just don't have it. So, um, we're going to work on that. Um, summer activities to do with him, stuff like that. The emergency kits I'm still working on. I was trying to make a trigger list and I was trying to figure out what to add that's not already there. Um, extra sheets. Home projects. Um, this is my watch backup plan section. I changed this up a little bit. I made these little, it's not a sticky note. It's just, it's the size of a sticky note. I just printed it on regular printer paper and I, I use it to, um, when I do my freebie Fridays, I work on it progressively over the course of the week. So when I finish a size insert, I check it off and then on Thursday, I will make the social media image and then double check all the sizes. And then on Fridays or Thursday night, depending on how my, my night is going, I will post the files, um, do an Instagram post about the files being up, and then do a story of the post. So that way everyone can see that they're up. Um, this is my social media tracker for YouTube and Instagram and Ko-Fi. Um, this is those cards that I had, um, the card freebies that have planner sizes, except for I added all of the Franklin Covey sizes, um, added standard rings, I added personal plus, uh, I don't, I think happy planner is down here. Yeah. Um, the strings, I have to add in some more discs. Because I have all the happy planner sizes on this side. Um, and it it's just 
because I make inserts, it's nice to have the full range of sizes. So I like having that. Um, to do list, um, I was kind of debating on whether to film a video on how to set up a planner system. May, June, social media trackers that I don't really fill out. And then my agenda section. This is my yearly overview with pay days and trash days. And then yearly tracking and big events. Um, and then this is my master master guide, master plan. Um, the planner spot has, where, is where I got, originally got this idea. And then she has inserts. If you, she did post them. So if you like this, she has inserts for sale that are her, her idea. And I just kind of played off of it um, and made my own. So if you like this idea, she has inserts in her shop um, in a bunch of sizes. So if you like it, head over there and see those because um, I will never be releasing these because they're too similar to hers. Um, I might release parts of it, like the holidays, but it's so late in the year now, it doesn't really matter. So maybe for next year, I will do that. But, um, year, holidays, um, reoccurring events and tasks, um, for the months specifically, monthly planning, monthly review, monthly reoccurring tasks, um, weekly planning, weekly review, weekly Base tasks, um, daily planning, daily agenda, review questions, um, flow of information, routines, cleaning tasks, figure list, um, and then starts my monthlies. So the only change in regard to monthlies is that for June to December, I'm going to try for the first six months or five months. I was in these Peanut Planner Co. 161, and I really do like that, but I was starting to have issues with reading the symbols on the days. I kind of just want a day, and everything is on that day. So what I did was I made, I, ha I posted about this monthly in April, and I decided to try it out. It has blank on this page. Kind of reminiscent of Paper and Cats back in the day. She used to sell inserts on Etsy and I love them. Kind of like hers. Um, month on two page. To do's. Key. Habit tracking. And then the days. Um, weeks. Week numbers. And then on the next page is my cleaning tracker. So I put sticky notes here. Um, to do's events and appointments, habits, key for all of that, and then cleaning. Um, master task list, quarterly cleaning for 2024 and then 2025, which is a freebie. Um, my weekly, which I think I'm going to change up for July. Um, I'm designing one that has the days on this side, to-dos, and then habit tracking and dinners over here. So that way, um, I don't need as much room up here. I don't need that much. If I'm not going to be listing everything out I do in a day, then I don't need that much room. So I'm going to, since I have my dailies, I don't really need that room. So I'm going to try to do that so I have more room for, for like to-dos and habits and stuff. These are my dailies. Um, this is my new today marker. Um, it has my mood key, some quotes from books I love, my signifier key. Um, this is my daily routine, and then I can move stuff around as I need to. Um, this is this one has been so handy. It says you have clothes in the washer because I don't I have an older washer that doesn't alert me when it's done. So I sometimes I'll put clothes in the washer and I'll forget. So when I put in a load of laundry, which is a day, so I should in the washer and then that way I can remember to go move them to the dryer um because it's in my basement and I will forget and then the next day I'll go down to do laundry I'll be like oh 
Yeah, and I'll have to rewash them and waste laundry detergent and stuff. So it's just easier that way. Um, these are just a couple little things. Um, more dailies, grocery list, stuff like that. My birthday is on Sunday, so my page was extremely decorated. Um, and then July, and I put in the rest of the year in these inserts. Um, and then at the end of December, I have my 2025 overview, which is a freebie in my tracker, or in my freebies folder. And then I have this, which I just realized is cut odd. Okay. Notice that. Um. Dashboard in my freebies folder. Um, and then this is my tab. It's I'm going to change this to like family because it has my son's health stuff in it too. It's my stuff and my son's. Um, future releases for books, games. Um, I This is a freebie from Plan With B, and but she just doesn't have the personal plus size, so I just made it. It's super quick to make, so I just made it for myself. Um, but she has all like a ton of sizes. She just doesn't have personal plus, so I just whipped one up really fast. But it is just like hers. So if you like this, she has it. Um, reading. This is from Crystal Plans. Um, this is the book ratings guide my um card but i made it into a dashboard so it has my book ratings guide my book genre codes my tbr codes which i haven't set up yet um my library card numbers um my um what i do when i finish a book and then keeping my tbr manageable because i will overfill that thing and so i kind of like having like Hey, these are books that I found that look interesting. And then this is actually the plan for what I want to read <laughs> and the order I'm going to read it in. Um, this is a Peanuts Planner Code Tracker, and it just tracks the gray dots are days that I've read, and then the lines are um, what I was reading at the time. Um, this is my 2024 bookshelf. I changed this up slightly. Um, I have changed my reading trackers quite a few times this year so far, but I've not read this much in a single year since I was like a teenager. So I, <laughs> um, I don't really know how I like to track it yet. So this is me working through the process of figuring that out. Um, I did have pages, um, that I released as a freebie. Um, these I had in here, um, and I had like four pages already of these because there's only four on each side and I had read what, like three pages so far, three full front and back pages so far. And I was starting on a fourth and I was like, that's going to take up too much room. So what I decided to do was book covers with ratings here. And then this is one of the freebies I released today, and it's a book log. And then I can write the title, the author, and then the dates that I read it. Instead of having so many pages, because I'm reading too much to keep track of that. Um, I guess which is a good thing. But um, so yeah, this way I can fit more information. If you read a lot, more information on less sheets. Otherwise, it fills up really fast. Um, library card with the books that I've rented from my library. This is from my minimal planner. This is her Kindle Unlimited reads. One of the things I got for my birthday was um, Kindle Unlimited subscription. So now I can read more books and not have to spend money on them, as much money. So I want to list out all the books I want to read, which I kind of have in these future pages. But... Death by TBR, these are books that are not part of a series. These are single, singleton books. Um, and then my series are on here. This is, um, so I'll 
put the title of the series and then every book in the series. So like I read Crave, Crush, and Covet, and then I started on Court and I DNF'd it. So um, I didn't finish the series, but I did finish three of the books. So I highlighted the three books that I did finish. Um, the Mead Mishap series is um, that time I got drunk and um, saved a demon. I read that one and it's the first book in the, the series. So now I'm going to work on the second book and the third book because they're both on Kim Kindle Unlimited, which I put right here, Kindle Unlimited. Um, and then the Charming Cove series is what I'm reading right now. I finished The Modern Girl's Guide to Magic. And then now I'm reading How to Fake Dated Vampire. And they're all on Kim Kindle Unlimited. The first one I read through Prime before I had Kindle Unlimited. And the second two are on there. So... Um, I just listed on there. Um, certain Serp Serpent and Dove I read last year, and I didn't know that there was two more books in this year's series, so I put those down so I could read those because I did, I did enjoy the Serpent and Dove one. I remember what I read, so <laughs> remembering what I read is usually a sign that it was a pretty good book. Um, and then I have all the other series that I want to read: the, um, Destroyer, and then Sacri um Sanctifier, I don't know how to pronounce that, um, is the second book, Sanctifier, I think, I don't know, um, is the second book, and it is out, and I, I'm kind of limited, and I would like to read it, so I can complete that series for now. Um, I have all this information also in Notion, which I might one day show my Notion for reading. It's the only thing I really use Notion for besides, um, reference if there's something like if there's something in here that i would like to reference for years instead of just the current time period i will put it in my notion <laughs> i have um databases of my son's medical team and i can reference when we go to the doctor's appointments i can reference who was who i spoke to what i spoke to them about and I have that all in my Notion. So that way I don't have to, um, I just have it right on my phone. It's, that's the nice thing about it. I can access it from my computer. I can access it from my phone. And important stuff like that I like to have. But I'm very, I'm much more of a paper and pen person. So I would prefer it to be in here. Um, June, this is the Pokemon Go schedule for June. Trainer level, Metal Progress. Pokedex of Pokemon I don't have. Um, Pavilion, Mega Evolutions, and the guide to level 41 to, four, to 50, which is what I'm working on right now. And then this is a freebie in my freebies folder, and then starts my health log and health section. I have the Peanuts Planner Co. health log. Um, the appointments log, doctor visits, um, medicine log, and um, my own yearly tracker for my menstrual cycles and my blood work that I did when I went for that. And then this is my son's section. Um, he, I have clothing size tracker, shoe size tracker. So if I'm ever out at the store and I see a good deal, I can pick up his correct size. Not that I don't know that, but it's nice to have it written down just in case, you know, brain farts. Um, shot records, medicine logs, appointments, health log, artwork for my son, school tracker, and just echo stuff. Um, this is my post-it note folder, and then receipts in the back. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I haven't been keeping... Um, any stickers or anything in here, really. I've just been keeping some extra um, little post-it notes that I printed as pieces of paper instead of post-it notes. I just keep those in there. Um, but yeah, so that is my entire flip-through. Um, nothing else has really changed. Everything else is pretty much the same. And I really like how this planner is wearing in. It's laying flat a little bit better. Someone asked if it lays flat, and it does lay flat to an extent. 
like it has it's pretty flat but it does it lifts up just a little bit but i just open it and go like that and then it lays flat um and then when i have my planner open it always lays flat it doesn't ever really have an issue so yeah i'm really in love with it i love how it's wearing i love it in general i just love it i got a couple scratches on it and i felt bad about it but i'm not gonna baby this i'm not one to baby things so it's gonna definitely get a wear test in my purse so just how it goes but yeah so that's my june setup and if you have any questions or comments just leave them down below and i'll talk to you guys later bye